Yeah. Am I even recording now? Mm, yeah, you are. Cool. Nice. <laughs> it's short, but it's sweet. So, there you go. And you can't complain with free, can you? So, there you go. Yeah, this is sweet. Chocolate face. Eating it like a child. Oh, yeah. Enjoying it as it should be. gone to the market and there's this awesome church here a beautiful terracotta type facade very beautiful what is that in there is that a it's like a tourist information thing should we check it out yeah, let's go see. Oh, it's a museum yeah yeah center of culture Textiles. awesome awesome yeah we gotta be quick so was it a textile museum yeah Pottery. Pottery. Is that textiles? Is that one? It's free, but we've been given 15 minutes. Oh, wow. 600 to 900 AD. I think that's right. I'm not sure what, uh, what any is. Serpent, very sacred for a lot of the indigenous peoples around here. More textiles, beautiful. It's got some swords here, espadas, some spear tips. Look at that beautiful handguard. I've got a rose there on the, is that the tang? It looks like a, a crest forged into it, or like a, an emblem of the, the armory where this was forged. Oh wow, check these out. <laughs> I like to put a rock there as like a tooth. So these are wooden by the looks of it. Inserted with rocks in the eyes and the mouth. Yes, these are sculptures of wood, wooden sculptures. <laughs> I didn't even see the English there, seriously guys. I swear. <laughs> Oh, so it's inlaid with some kind of fool's gold. But here, in this beautiful courtyard, you just go one building in and there's beautiful courtyards like this. Beautiful. So if I'm not knowing this museum existed, the textile museum, it's free and it's pretty cool. Yeah, there's, there's a, a beautiful building, uh, an old colonial place like this, with the church in the distance. It's definitely a nice building. Definitely. There's a lot of beautiful buildings like this, um, as I previously said. And yeah, definitely worth checking it out. It's by one of the churches here. I'll post which church somewhere here on screen now, so you guys know. And uh, the opening hours for this place. So if you're ever in uh, San Cristobal, check it out. Definitely worthwhile. It's short, but it's sweet. So there you go. And you can't complain with free, can you? So there you go. So just heading out of the uh, museum. Back to the Mercado. Let's check it out. Can we go into the church? Just got out of the church. Um, I didn't want to go too far in out of respect with people worshiping, but uh, it could be there. It's a lot better in real life, that's for sure. It's, uh, it's like a beautiful pink. Clouds over the mountain. Can't complain. Gorgeous. 
Yeah. Like this market has a good variety as well. Mm. A lot of other markets are very repetitive. This one has so many different things. Yeah, I mean. Oh, oh yeah. Shut this guy out. Oh, yeah. Breaking it down. Yeah, boys. And there's Mike getting in the way. <laughs> yeah, man, these are sweet. <laughs> Check this one out, stud. <laughs> <laughs> nice man. Number one. Not really. <laughs> yeah, this is a cool one. These ones are all over Mexico, aren't they? These ones here for the animals yeah. on it. I might get one, that's pretty cool. This one? Little bit of pig. <laughs> my one's pretty naff. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. My 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 cap's pretty naff. It's not that great. I might just get. I mean, it says cock on it. That's, that, isn't that hilarious? <laughs> oh snap! Yeah. Hey guys, we're about to get a delicacy here, Margarita. Let's go. Tienes platino o no? Sí. ¿Qué se hace con platino y metal a poco? Estamos buscando algo para Sotoku y no sabe qué. Are you so happy? The happiest I've ever been. It's gonna have the road to the time. Okay. So let me uh, let me give you a guided tour of the of the Margarita Delicioso. I must admit, this one is slightly different to the ones we used to. In Oaxaca, yeah. it's a good or a bad thing. Yeah, normally there's a little uh, banana in there. Okay. And they tend to kind of spread the Nutella first all over the crepe. And there's normally a lot more cheese. So I'm still excited, but let's take a bite. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chocolate face. Eating it like a child. Oh, yeah. Enjoying it as it should be enjoyed. Have you got it locked onto my gob? I'm not sure. Is there, a, is there a square or not? Is there like a square on my face? No, but this is awesome how chocolatey your face is. <laughs> So, I've just finished eating the Marcosita. Matt's having a cigarette, back at the plaza. And as you can see in the distance over there, which I'll zoom in, it looks like a big ass Christmas tree. And I actually thought it was a Christmas tree, naively. And turns out it isn't, um, which most of you would have imagined, I guess. 
it's just some metal spokes, like metal wire called Tor, and they put bolts on it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we went up there yesterday actually. I should have brought my gimbal, I should have filmed it, I didn't. Anyway, um, just thought I'd let you guys know it's not a real Christmas tree, so if you are here, don't do what I did. It's definitely worthwhile going up, the view's uh, beautiful. Um, and it's a pretty cool piece of art anyway, but yeah, it's not a real tree, so. Oh, gordita! You haven't had a gordita yet? Well, I had a bite of yours. Oh uh, yeah. Last time we were here, but I've never had one. So this is a gordita, it's another kind of dessert they have here. What did you have it with? Yeah, cajeta. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That's, yes. That's so this is, uh, this is gordita this action. Is gordita. There's like a food gordita and this is a dessert gordita. It's pretty good, it has cajeta in it. It's like caramel sauce, sort of. Yeah, it's kind of like butterscotch, isn't it? Yeah. They use, um, it's like goat's milk to make it. Some? Gracias. What are they? Gracias. Yes. Nah, man, I'm good. That Mark Marcus Cedar's sorted me out. Yeah, Mark, I've had a few gorditas in my time, as you can imagine, and uh, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. So, so I'm actually super stoked. So we're about to witness a super iconic duo, and it's extremely festive. Festive. Just checking that Matt is actually behind me because he's silent. What could be more Christmassy, ladies and gentlemen, than Santa Claus himself? <laughs> and you're not going to believe this. As we walk past the, uh, walk past a large group of people here, Santa and Pikachu himself. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty cool duo, if you ask me. Now. now it's officially Christmas. I can't think of anything more Christmassy, can you? No, not really. I mean, it's why not. Pikachu? Why not? I mean, I'm sure there's some Christmas stuff in there at some point. I'm tracking your booty, Matt. I'm tracking your ass. <laughs> Check that out. Check that back right out. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what makes the money. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so you can see they've got the, the Christmas lights up in the colors of the Mexican flag, which is lovely to see. You've got the white, the red, and of course, the green. Beautiful. Can you guys see this? I need to use some uh, expert level navigation. Check that out. It's awesome, there's like a cloud coverage, like dark cloud, and you can just see a little bit of a uh, sky there. Beautiful, man, beautiful. Hey guys, so, just a quick catch up. Um, pretty much done everything I wanted to do today. Which isn't saying much, considering all I wanted to do was get my route out of here to Guatemala, which is done. Um, watch the footy, another achievement off the list. And yeah, we've just kind of been chilling, having a few beers, walking around a few places, and you'll hopefully have seen the footage I've posted off that uh, here. So I'm actually having a coffee at the moment. I've got a, a lovely latte here, and Matt's gone for an uh, Americano. And we're actually at a bar slash cafe that is on the Zocalo. You can probably hear like the the pan the pans and the pipes. The music in the background. It's really cool, really kind of uh, traditional to this part of the world. So I believe. Um, they're actually playing on the bandstand if I'm not mistaken. So going forward tomorrow, we're probably gonna pick somewhere to go, film a video of that, or maybe some other idea. We'll see. Undecided yet. Um, definitely we'll do something tomorrow creative, either with the gimbal in the film or edit this video or on the two. to maybe film some more. Who knows? Um, what else? Yeah. I need to pack my stuff. My bus slash coach slash van picks me up at 6am Monday for Guatemala and it's 12 hours. So, there yeah. I'm mean, gonna loads of looks, which I guess is normal considering I'm talking to my phone on a stand in the center of a, uh, a pretty busy, a pretty busy town. So uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'll catch you guys up in a bit and uh, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. See you guys soon.
Am I even recording now? Yeah, you are. Cool. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Am I even recording now? Yeah, you are. Cool. Nice. <laughs>